What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It is your host, Oh Gavin here, and I'm back with an exciting new video today. Today, I will be showing you guys how to play Game of Thrones and Minecraft. Stay tuned after the intro. <laughs> First things first guys, what you want to do is you want to open up a web browser and you want to come up here and you want to go ahead and type in technicpack.net slash modpacks. Alright, that'll bring you to this screen. If you guys don't already have the Technic Launcher, you can just go ahead and click download and download for the appropriate platform that you have that is available for Windows, Mac, and Linux, so any and all. Next, what you can do is you can come up here and you can search Game of Thrones. Alright, and then it's going to be this one right here. It is called Game of Thrones 2020. Or you can just go ahead, open up the Technic Launcher EXE on your computer. I already have it installed, but I'm assuming you guys have installed this. Go ahead and type in Game of Thrones 2020. And this is the easiest way to install it. Now this is created by me myself and I will be going over some of the mods it has. Stay tuned to the end of the video for a simple and small disclaimer. So you're going to go ahead and install the pack. Alright. Once the pack is installed you want to go ahead and click play. It'll launch up as so. It'll take a second to load in and then it'll pop up. Now, it, I, it did take me a little bit to get this working on the Technic Launcher, but it does show up and it does we'll go ahead and load the mod, so I'll be back once it's fully loaded and at the menu. Alright, so we are fully loaded in now, and as you guys see, this is a remake of the... Um, this is a remake of the Lord of the Rings mod, so I, I created the mod pack myself theme based with technology, magic, things along the mystical Game of Thrones nature. Uh, its core mod though is the Game of Thrones mod. I'm going to run through the mod list real quick. You guys are already at this point though and you do want to go ahead and skip to the gameplay. You can go ahead and go ahead and create a new world. There will be an official server maybe coming up uh, within you know the next couple months if there are more players that begin to play the mod pack but going over the mods real quick if you guys want to stay tuned if not thank you guys for watching make sure you subscribe to the channel for more tutorials about mod packs and things like that and let's plays through mod packs because that's what this channel is based about um, but you will come down here it has the advanced hook launchers AI improvements battle towers bobbles bobblicious bobbles HUD thomcraft bobble stuff Baby little craft, blood magic, alchemical, wizardry, I think that's what it's called, yeah. Botania, um, cosmetic armor reworked, basically if you wanted to wear diamond armor but you like the look of some of the Game of Thrones armor, you could go ahead and throw that on. Dracanic Evolution, Fast Leak Decay, Forestry for Minecraft, the Game of Thrones mod. I have two of the Game of Thrones DLC, the Frey and Bolton DLC, and the Targaryen DLC. We have Immersive Engineering, Inventory Tweaks, Iron Chest, Medieval Weapons mod, Morpheus, Nature's Compass, Mouse Tweaks, Nether Portal Fix, or Excavation, Pam's Harvest Craft, Reauth, in case you get logged out, you can just log back in in-game instead of restarting your whole game. Uh, Roguelike Dungeons, Walla, Tinker's Construct, Twilight Forest, Walla Harvest Ability, what are we looking at? Waste Stones and Blood Bobbles. Blood Bobbles is just a blood magic extension for the bobbles. Now we'll go ahead and go into this real quick and we'll just create a tutorial world. And I'll turn to creative so I can show you guys a little bit on and we'll go ahead and make it the Game of Thrones world type that way we are already in game of thrones so you guys can go ahead and load in first thing you will notice is that the loading screen does have this map and this is actually the map you will be looking at this is a huge huge mod expansion um so we're in the world now and as you see at the top it has the location you can uh, go through those as well um, just by hitting your arrow keys, it'll show you 
the different factions that you can I'll look up real quick. So it's got all the factions in here um, that you're neutral with, hostile with, or whatnot. So it looks like the DLC ones are like the GOT faction one for extended names. I'll see if I can fix that and update. Um, but you guys will notice that it spawns you in. And then you want to hit L to open up the Game of Thrones menu. You have your fellowships here, map, um, oops, menu. Uh, factions, which you can see the different factions and how you are with them. Uh, you got the attributes, faction shields, capes, things like that. Your options, you can turn on friendly fire. Um, titles, if you want to select a title, you have to have a certain amount of... Um, uh, alignment credits in order to get those uh, then you can go to the map and as you guys can see this is a huge map shivering sea I mean Essos uh, more down here just tons and tons of places but all the cities are typically generally in this main area there are a few out there um, oh, this is the main this is Westeros so if you guys wanted to travel to Greywater Watch, or let's say we want to go to the Wall. Um, this is the Wall, by the way. You can just go to West Watch. You hit F on the keyboard, and you just stand still for 10 seconds, and it will fast travel you to the location. Um, I'll go through some of the items as well, but. The disclaimer that I was going to say is that it's not English, so if that's a downside for you guys, uh, maybe try out the other Game of Thrones mods, beta still, but this is the wall. Oh, it's pretty big, let me see if I can't turn off the fog real quick. Details, fog off, there we go. So this was the West Watch is what this place was called and here is the wall so pretty sick um that's what separates you know westeros from the wild so I'm pretty sure this is the wild on this side but anyway um we'll go ahead and go through some of these items now so besides all this other stuff i'm not going through that i'm just going to go through the medieval weapons mod and stuff adds some of these things for you. You can just look through as I go through them as well. Um, uh, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so there are all the Game of Thrones banners. There are different dragons, um, actually, and different mobs. It's a horse, butterfly, midges, rabbit, blah, blah, blah. I mean, you guys can look through most of this one yourself, but I just wanted to show you guys some of the cool main features. Dragon. All right. Uh, you know, there's just a lot of cool things in this mod to check out. All the armor, things like that, different attributes. Lots of cool stuff. Now, I just want to show you guys real quick. I don't know if the horses are any different, actually. I don't think I've seen a Game of Thrones horse. No, it looks the same. The dragons, however, they look pretty sweet. So this is a dragon. They have 1,000 HP. And I do not know if they grow at this point. I have not played long enough to see that. But this is the size they start at. They breathe fire. Uh, as you guys can see, I'll go into survival mode real quick. Oops. And we will hit them. Come on, breathe fire on me. Are you just going to bite me? Okay, well, he just bit me then. And he too hit me. Um, so they're not extremely OP. Still OP though, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you comment down below, subscribe to the channel if you're new. I will be doing a series on this if you guys are interested in the tutorial, but if you guys want me to go ahead and start releasing that now, I already have some episodes recorded, uh, let me know in the comments down below. Um, if you guys are enjoying the mod pack or if you're noticing any bugs, please let me know um, and I will get those fixed as soon as I can, as soon as I figure them out. And this is glitching now, so perfect time to end the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Take care. Gosh.